that will be stopped very soon. Hello? Oh, hi. Oh. Yep, okay. Give me a sec. Let me start. Okay, let's get started. Uh, sorry for the reschedule for the assignment help session. Yesterday I was trying to enter the meeting room, but I can't see any people in the room. But anyway, let's get started. So today I plan to spend like 20 minutes to go through all the phase two content. So maybe you can get some idea if you haven't started, or you may have some question, so we can solve it later. So let's just go through the content here, and then we can answer any question you have about the assignment. So for the phase two, what do we need to do? Basically, you just need to go to the Moodle link. And then you can find two different documents related to it. Let me share my screen right now. Um, for the Can you see the document? Yeah, we can see it. So uh, I would like to say phase two, maybe it's easier than phase one. Uh, even the phase one is pretty easy, isn't it? So uh, what do we need to do is in here, you can see there are some Performance about the phase two. So you need to have a report and then a short video presentation. 
that's basically what we need to have for the phase two. So a PDF file and a video file. And uh, in this file, we don't have much detail about what do we need to do. So maybe you need to jump to another file. This file is also available in, in the model. I think you have already have it in your computer. So just come to this section. Then maybe before we have a look at this section, we can have a look at how do we mark the phase two. Uh, you can go down to here. Marking details. So you can see the report contains 11 marks and the presentation will have four marks. But I think both of them are quite important. So you maybe you need to spend lots of time on making a video that would be helpful for us to understand your idea. So you can see for the report, it's pretty straightforward. Just issue and any problem you find from the data set, and then you can suggest any solution and validate your solution, right? Evaluation. And then after that, we have a overall organization and presentation. Basically, if you have a formal format, you can get this one mark. It should be free mark for you. And let's have a look. What do we need to do with the problem st statement? So uh, if you had a look in the Moodle link, then you will be able to find the data set available in the in here in here so phase two data sets you can simply download it and let me open the data set and we have a quick look of it it's something like this Uh, if we I would say it's pretty similar to the data you have collected in the phase one. So all you need to do is just analyze this data set and try to figure out any problem with the unified SSID. So I think in here maybe the pandas library will be very helpful. Like you can simply load the data, data set with your pandas. Um, let me try to run my console here. Okay, so import pandas as pp. So you can just simply load it with the pandas and you can have a look at the shape. So we have around 82,000 columns, oh, sorry, rows and 15 columns. And you can have a look of what kind of columns we have. It's pretty similar to the phase one, right? But this time we have collected this data set by ourselves, and we also merge some data from the student. So you can see basically everything here. So what do you need to do is just pick an area and try to analyze this part. For example, you want to analyze the RSSI, then maybe in here you need to do some like visualization about the RSSI. And I can show you some example later. So now you get the idea. We have a public data set right now, and we just need to do some analyze to this data set and write a report. So for the problem statement, basically you need to have a look. You Maybe you need to spend a couple of hours with the data set and try to figure out what's the problem with it, with our uni-wide network. 
and then you need to design a solution. So what's what's the solution? Uh, I think this part you can refer to some like public uh papers, like published paper and any website which is professional on the like Wi-Fi analyze. So you can refer to the professional one's idea and use their idea to perform your analyze and give, give your solution. And the third part is about the experiment and evaluation. So for the evaluation and experiments, it's like you need to prove your solution is valid and it's robust. So in this part, actually, I would say it's pretty important in this part. So you need to have proof. For example, you refer to some method from the papers, so you can use their methodology and say, uh, I refer to some published paper and uh, it's quite professional and I can make sure this method is valid by calculate this and that. So you can refer to their like calculation or simulation in the paper or website to prove your method is valid. And I think that's it for the report. And now we come to the recording video. So you need to have a presentation. So for the presentation video, you don't need to worry a lot about it. So the content is basically the same as the report, but it doesn't mean you need to read the whole report in front of a camera. Instead, maybe I think you can make a video slide uh, like PowerPoint or any other tools, visualize tools just to show your idea. So you can see we have three sections, right? So in your presentation, I think maybe you can divide into three parts. So the first part, you just mentioned what kind of problem did you identify for the uniwide network? And then you can give us a solution. Or uh, maybe in the problem statement, you can put lots of visualization, help us to understand what kind of problem is that? and how important is this problem? So what is the significance of your finding? And the second one is the solution design. So as like I mentioned before, you just refer to some professional website or paper and give your solution. Uh, I reckon maybe refer to three to five different papers should be pretty solid. And the evaluation, of course, you need to, uh, for example, you, you would say uh, in the campus, maybe you identify some problem with, let's say in here. So, let's say you have identified some problem at this place and this place, and then you, you say the coverage is not enough in, in, in these two area. So you recommend to have two routers apply in, let's say in here and here. And then maybe I think you need, you can perform some calculation that you learn from this course. Like you can refer to the textbook of this book, this, this course, and you can also go to the real scenario. So you go to this place and took some picture and uh, like try to validate your solution. And in another case, for example, you find this area, this area have very weak signal strengths. So you don't know what's the reason. So you, maybe you can go to this place and figure out what is the reason for that. Maybe like there is a air conditioner machine or maybe they have different kind of reason that cause this reason. So you need to try to spot the problem and try to analyze what is the cause and give us a solution how to solve this problem. So I, I think this one is not very hard to do, but you just need to prove it. Like every, every single sentence you say must be valid. So you can't say, 
uh, I, I spot, specify this area I have some problem, but you didn't analyze why it, it have any problem and you didn't prove your solution is valid. So basically this part is for the uh, literature review. So you just refer to any professional advice or from the textbook, get some idea and try to perform and problem finding and solution proposal. Okay, so that's the marking part. And then we come back to here, you can see it's a guidance, which means uh, maybe you need to do these kind of things, but it's not compulsory. So it doesn't mean you need to do them one by one. So in here, it's just some idea to do the task. So you don't need to do them one by one. For example, you can just do the visualization or you just analyze the unified network because we do have other are the uh, are the SSID inside the data set, right? Maybe you can drop them if you don't need them. But sometimes when you want to analyze the interference from other APs, then you might need to use other SSID. So it depends on your topic. And for the optimization, just propose a solution and have a discussion of your strategy. So basically just put some calculation or simulation. Of course, you can also go to the like real location and took some pictures to prove your solutions. Mm, I think that's it. So again, we don't need to do them one by one. In here, we just give you some idea of how to do your report. But instead, you can just scroll down in here. You can see uh, for the report, you should have at least these three sections. So one, two, three. Problem statement, solution design, and experiment and evaluation. For these three parts, maybe you need to divide them into three paragraphs. And there is no limitation on the page on the length of the report and the demo video as well. So you don't need to worry about like your report is too short. And please don't use ChatGPT to make it very long because it doesn't make any sense to expand the sentence because they have the exactly the same meaning, but it will just make us to pretty hard to understand. So in, instead of have very long reports, I would say maybe a short and clear report is better. So if your report is quite short, but if you can make sure everything is very simple and clear, then you don't need to worry about the length of your report. Um, I think that's it. And for the demo video, I just have one thing to say. For the demo video, we don't need to read all the stuff, but you just need to make it simple and easy to understand. So you can just try to have a recording of the video and then you present to one of your friends who doesn't know your topic. So if they can easily understand what are you saying and what is the, your solution, then it should be a very good demo video. And yeah. And for the data visualization, I think maybe I can give you some idea. Let me give, give me some time. Uh, I remember I have some. Like 
And this is one of the example visualize. Uh, but this one is just for counting the value, like how many data do we have in, inside the map. Uh, I use the library. Let me find my library. Volume. This one. So I use this one to draw the maps. And you can also use this library to draw different kind of maps. Let me give you some examples here. I just have some screenshots. Example, you can use, you can generate this kind of graph with volume to specify like uh, where do we have signal and you can also change the color of these uh, spots to identify what is the signal strength and maybe you can figure out some like signal strength difference in the map. So it should not be very hard. Uh, like maybe for the analysis, you don't need to spend a lot of time with this kind of visualization at first, because we can just simply use the latitude as our x axis and longitude as our longitude as our y axis. So we don't spend a lot of time to plotting on the map. So just, just. Firstly, just check our idea. If it does make sense, then we plot it on our map. Otherwise, we just don't waste time on it. And let me think, what else can we do? Actually, we can do a lot of things based on this uh, data set. For example, we can try to analyze the frequency distribution on the campus, right? So we are not only analyze the uni-wide, but we can just start uh, how try to plot difference, the distribution on the map of the frequency. See, are they using 2.4 or 5 gigahertz in that area? And we can also have a look of the channel number. So, so which channel number is the most popular one? And do we have any trouble with the like popular channel number? You can just simply validate with the network delay and the signal strengths, right? And another idea is the Wi-Fi standard. So uh, maybe for the standard, you need to read something about the standard to understand like, what is the difference between them. And if you propose, let's say your solution is to upgrade all the uni uh, SSID to the most advanced uh, Wi-Fi standard, let's say Wi-Fi 6 or even Wi-Fi 7, and you need to you need to like understand what is the benefit to upgrade the Wi-Fi standard and what will be the performance, like exactly performance. Like for example, what is the bandwidth after you upgrade and what is the uh, covering range and the network delay according to your estimate. And for 
for the uni wide, maybe you can also try to analyze the different OS system. So you can see we have different OS system in here, like operating system. Uh, what is the what is the distinct value? Uh, let's see. Value counts. So you can see for the operating system, we have Mac and have Windows. Maybe you can try to analyze what's the difference between Mac and Windows on the map according to the signal strengths. So you have multiple angle to analyze this uh, kind of stuff. Uh, you can also try to analyze simply the signal strengths, right? You just plot a heat map, try to spot, specify which area have the weakest signal strengths. And you can also have a look, what is the standard deviation for the unit in the map, like standard deviation of the signal strengths for the unit -wide. So for the report, I think that's my idea. And let me see if we have any other thing. So you can see we have a lot of example of what kind of problem do you have? Uh, can you find for the uh, data set? So I reckon maybe you can try to analyze lots of different potential problems and you just choose one maybe the most significant problem and try to analyze it very well or you can choose top three different questions different problems and try to solve them at once so that's the report and next one is about the report format. So you might be confused, like what will be the format for the report, but actually just make it very clear. Uh, or you can try to follow this paper format. like any published paper formats will be fine. For example, this one, like you can use this kind of format. It's a document. So you can just remove this kind of stuff. And just have your title. Uh, and abstract. Uh, I think maybe abstract can also be removed, but also you can just make a very short version of your report in here. So it's optional. And introduction, just do the same. And in the second of it, it it's just like problems, states, events, and etc. So in the report, I wouldn't say you need to write lots of things. Instead, you can put a lot of visualization in your report. So which help us to understand what is your idea. So you don't need to write a very long report like this. You just need to put some visualized contents. For example, you analyze while the Python and you generate a heat map, you just put it in your report. And of course you need to have some description of it. So after each single figure in, in the report, you just write a short description like to tell us what are you going to tell us uh, according to the analyze. 
And for the evaluation, maybe you can have this kind of calculation in, in the report, just to do some calculation from the textbook or from the papers to prove your solution is valid and useful. Is there any other thing? need to say uh, I think basically that's all yeah. yeah feel free to ask question if you have Uh, I think it's what's the number inside? Uh, which number? Hey, Ruby. Yeah. Um, can you just let a screen share? I just want to show you something. Yeah, sure. If you want to share anything, you feel free to share it. Um, <coughs> I will stop my sharing. But as you can see here, I try to uh, figure out how many unique or distinct location do we have in the map for Uniwise. So we have around 417 different, you can consider different spots on the map for the uniwise. So with this one, you can plot the signal strength. Okay, I will just stop sharing. You can share your screen as well. Um, yeah, for something like this, um, I just quickly drew this up as you were talking. Um, there's a lot more red stuff here. Potentially, it could mean because of like, a, a lot of um, SSIDs, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, so do you reckon we could technically take this and um, about the access yeah. point and stuff like that? For example, there's, let's say, as we can see in the village green area, some of the areas are like blue, indicating that there may not be enough strength. Um, so we may need to add access points around those areas. Um, here yeah. could potentially mean high interference, so we could change like um channels. Yeah, this I think this heat map is quite pretty well right now. Uh, yeah, I think you can use it. And for example, you you say in the area they doesn't have coverage. Maybe in the evaluation part, you need to go to that place and try to figure out what is the reason. Maybe you can bring your own laptop and have a look, is that real? Or if it's not true, so what's the reason why we have that kind of stuff? But yeah, it's a very good visualization here. 
Right. Okay. So we can technically use that. Um, you from from just looking at this, do you maybe have like um like do you see any negatives? I guess that we can talk about in the mm. thing. Like what what could one of the one other problem be if you were just looking at this? I guess. Mm. I'm not really sure. I can see in the playground usually it's um. Very good performance, but why the physics physics long? They have some em empty area. Yeah, you need to go to that and figure out what's the reason. But yeah, this visualization is pretty good. I would say. Okay. And All right. and maybe I will try to focus on the empty area and try to figure out why they doesn't have any color over there. Maybe in the data set they don't have the data Could you, over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Could be one yeah. of the reasons. And another thing is for the like heat area in the red color. Yeah. So why the do they have that kind of, that kind of problem? And uh, maybe I will try to collect some data by myself and perform some an analysis. So if you can not only analyze this public data set, but also do some experiment by yourself by collecting some data or validate this kind of stuff and figure out the reason, that should be a very good report. Okay, sure. Um, but like just just from my understanding, I mean, um, this the red area could be because this would be like the computer science like building and stuff. I think. Yeah. Um, so it could mean that because there's like a lot more, uh, like we can say there's a lot more interference from like computer hardware's as well yeah. as the other networks that could be in that area. Yeah, it's um, computer computer building uh, crossing. The street is the double E building. Yeah, could be yeah. The, could be true, but you just need to give some evidence, right? Maybe you can go there and have a look how many uh uh like how many hotspots at the area, or you can also have a try of the signal train is that real? Uh, and just need to have proof. Okay, we got it. Yeah, but yeah, but I would say that heat map is pretty nice. Uh, can I say like we have too many routers? Because yes, that should be fine. But in the night, it just wears off like energy consumption. Yeah, you could be. Yeah, I think I think so. So maybe for that area, we need to do some sampling. So before we generate get, generate okay. the heat map. Right. Anyway, I think you might have said this, but um, just um, like if you can just give us like some example, like generic example, what would the network performance issue could potentially be? Do you reckon in that area? In, in like the assignment, like phase two, like do you have some general idea on what um the network performance issue we could be looking for or something like that? Network, uh, could be, uh, like a lot of interference in the same channel. Okay. And it also could have some applicants such as air conditioning machine, um, microwave, but uh, it's unlikely to have microwave outside. Uh, but yeah. some kind of applicants that may have some interference. Okay. Uh, because, uh, like when I do the data collection, I, I can see like some of the applicants does affect the signal strengths. But I feel like, you know, the heat map that I showed you, um, it's like, I think it could also be because the data that uh, is provided to us in the data set, it might have been caught at a particular time. For example, if we, let's say, if we catch that um, in the same location, um, if I share it again, I can, I'll, I'll yeah. show you. For example, uh, uh, 
second. Yeah, so for example, um, here in this area, if we collect it, let's say in the afternoon or something, or like during the morning days, it could potentially yeah. mean that it's red because there's a lot more student um, movement in that area. So that could mean to interference. But for example, if you said that I need to show proof, if I go at some other time, for example, that mm -hmm. might not be there. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, can we really that. say that as an issue or would that just be like a one-off, um, I don't know, like a hypothesis or something? Because uh, it, it's not if even if I go this data would not stay the same. It would the, even the um the signal strength and everything even at a particular location would vary always, right? So I'm like, how yeah. can we say that? Um, like how can we go and collect data and then say that oh this may be different? Because like yeah, if the same day, day I, yeah. I think maybe you don't need to collect the data. You just based on the uh data we have and mm -hmm. analyze this problem. You can say ah oh, uh because like. And everything changed during the time, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, uh, but for this one, I think we just analyze the data set should be sufficient. Right. So from whatever, like from whatever heat maps we can see here, we can just like analyze it saying that oh, there seems to be high interference. So first of all, like um, just like from what my understanding is, I guess in the report, I can just first analyze it by saying, oh, describe what the heat map is. For example, there's a high interference in like um the coffee on campus area so like the computer science building area we can see mm -hmm. that on the village green area it's a lot more greener surfaces um meaning that there's a lot more better it's better coverage pretty much however there are some gaps again in the village green area which could mm -hmm. uh symbolize um le less routers and stuff or like low connectivity in that area mm -hmm. Yeah, potentially just something like that and then just talk about that and then my proposed solution so like i guess um for for this one we can't really propose a solution because again it comes down to the point that i mentioned that if we go some other time this might not be there right so yeah. not too sure about the solution for this but for this one we can say um we can find another access point um and add it there so that it adds it or we can add a wi-fi extender we can increase the range from one of the access points around this area to right. cover all that area here. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay, and so this one it should be fine if I if I if I just say that this could be a one-off incident, the red really red spots. Uh, yes, you can try to analyze all the like possibilities and choose the most convenient one. Uh. uh so in here, I would, I would say maybe you just refer to some paper or website information. Mm -hmm. to try to figure out, uh, if you can go to the like real location and figure out, yeah, get some evidence to prove it, that would be great, but it's just optional. Okay, got it. I'll try that. Thanks. Yeah, so... Uh, in the report, just show your efforts to analyze uh, this kind of question. Yep, makes sense. Thank you. And we have a help session on Friday as well, correct? Yes, it's right. Okay. So is it okay if I maybe try analyzing it before Friday and then maybe show yeah. you like a draft on that? Yeah, day? definitely. Definitely. Okay.
Uh, do we have any other question? If not, I'm about to close this session. But we will have another lab session after this, five minutes later. Do we stay in the same meeting for that lab session? Do you want us yes. to join us to stay here? Okay. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but I will end the recording right now. So I need to exit. But yeah, you can, that's all good. Sure. You can okay. rejoin. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.